Something I'm also realizing as I talk to more and more organizations in my capacity as a PM and developer division is that APIs are really the driving force behind powering this digital transformation we're seeing across all industries right now. APIs provide that avenue for transformation. Internally, you probably already have APIs for things like HR, profile, inventory, shipping. And if you don't, you're probably planning on creating them for new business scenarios. And then externally, there are APIs now that do all kinds of awesome things like sending SMS messages or managing marketing campaigns. And so most applications that we talk about uh, an IT department building are just a user experience that's built on top of these APIs, built for interacting with these APIs. So it's super critical that we make it easy to consume APIs in the Power Platform. And so we do that for you with hundreds of pre-built connectors like Haley talked about earlier that you can use to consume these APIs. Uh, but what about internal APIs that wouldn't already exist in that catalog? So Power Apps has a concept called connectors, which are just a way to leverage a particular API in my application. To expose APIs to citizen developers, we just need to build a custom connector to make that possible. So the, there's the connectors, which are the default uh, experiences we get in the Power Platform for connecting to external data. And then we also have custom connectors, which are just connectors uh, that are doing the exact same thing as the regular connectors, but connecting to internal APIs. So this may sound very complicated, but really, I literally promise all it is is clicking around in the Azure portal. So all we need to do is put our APIs into something called API management. And once we do that, we can easily expose all those APIs automatically to our developers in the Power Platform. So why would I put my APIs into this API, API management thing? What is this API management thing? Well, if you do it, you get a ton of awesome features. Uh, well, the obvious thing is it's gonna provide a service for me to manage my APIs. It's called an API management service, aptly named. Uh, I can improve my API discoverability. So if I have all my APIs that I have internally, they're in all of these random Azure uh, services distributed across your entire organization. By putting them into API management, I'm creating a catalog of APIs that people can see. Uh, I can apply management uh, for APIs that are both in the cloud, like I've been referencing, but even on-premise. Uh, we can expose on-premise APIs through API management as well. I can do things like apply authentication and authorization. I could do things like uh, apply inbound policy to filter by IP address for added security. Uh, but for performance, I can do things like uh, cache responses to reduce my API latency. So there's a lot of benefits to just putting your APIs in API management before we even get to the Power Platform. But if we put our APIs into API management, there's a literal one-click option to expose that API to the Power Platform for consumption by citizen developers. So how do we do that? Well, as a pro developer, uh, we mentioned all we need to do is put our APIs into API management and then it's just clicking. So in the video that's playing now, uh, you can see that I'm in API management. And when I click export on my API here, I have several options of different services that I can export my API to. If I click on Power Apps and Power Automate, I'll have the option to select my Power Platform environment. And then I just pick a name that will used to be call, used to call that API in the Power Platform. That's it. Literally that export button click and selecting the environment and picking a name for the API that will be used when people call it in the Power Platform. That's the only unique step that I need to take as a pro developer to expose this API so that people can build applications on top of it inside of the Power Platform. All of the other stuff that happened before now, putting it into Azure, exposing it to API management, those are things I'm probably already doing as a pro developer, so they're not unique to this scenario. The only thing I need to do, which is pretty powerful to enable all those apps that we talked about, this rapid application development we talked about earlier, is literally click a button. It's that simple. Uh, and so I encourage you to give it a try because it's super easy. Uh, and of course, I can use this functionality in the new Power Apps experience in Microsoft Teams that Haley showed earlier as well. So my favorite thing is that if the application I'm building is distributed within the boundaries of Microsoft Teams itself, I can build low code applications that leverage my APIs and API management and distribute those apps to others at no additional cost. So all of the cost there is covered within my license I already have for Microsoft Teams. So there's no cost to build a Power App that consumes pro dev APIs backed by API management when that app is distributed in Microsoft Teams. That's really powerful. So the Power Platform is the perfect vehicle for consuming these internal and external APIs and using them to build applications that really do transform the way we do business.